So we're here with Scarlett Earle um, to do the physiological assessment. And the whole point of this exercise or this uh, assessment is to uh, take the gymnast. So Scarlett's a real live gymnast for Team BC Gymnastics. Take her through a gymnastic specific range of motion screen. Um, a lot of gymnastics, obviously there's a ton of extension patterns. And if the athlete cannot go into that extension pattern properly for whatever reason, there's a much greater risk of injury. And of course, performance is also minimized. The other part aspect of this um, assessment, or rather other than looking at the athlete's ability to get into a global extension pattern, we're gonna be looking at um, squatting mechanics, the, the ability for the athlete to do a proper squat. And that's important for landings. Again, injury prevention, if an athlete can't land properly, there's gonna be huge uh, issues there. And then from a performance perspective, if an athlete can't squat properly, uh, their jumping and their power is going to be drastically reduced. So without further ado, we will get into the assessment. So uh, the first five tests of the assessment are uh, what I would call red flag markers. So I'm gonna take Scarlett through just a series of very simple tests to see if she has any pain when she goes through a series of range of motions. Now, if there is pain, I'm just gonna document it down. And what that does is it's going to um, suggest to the coaches that we need further intervention by a medical professional. So maybe a physiotherapist should uh, look at the athlete. Hopefully within the grand scheme of how we're gonna move forward with this, every June, every club uh, working with uh, elite and hopefully even uh, our younger and more amateur athletes are doing both this range of motion screen and combined with that, they're gonna have some physiotherapists perhaps on site to help uh, delve further into this. The whole idea is that coaches are actually able to do this assessment them themselves. So it's, it's fairly basic and something that coaches can do, hopefully get some great information from it that they can apply themselves, and then also uh, will educate them whether or not they need to refer out. So Scarlett, first off, what I'm gonna get you to do is something called a stork back bend. So all I want you to do is to stand with your feet uh, right together, and hands by your side. And all I want you to do, we'll do the left side first. I want you to rotate, extend back, and try to touch the back of your knee with your left hand. Okay, so she's gonna rotate, and then try to extend back and try to touch the back of your knee. And she can go much further than me, so she should, being a gymnast, and then come back up. And I'm watching her for any grimacing or any um, discomfort that she shows. Do you feel any discomfort when you do that? No, great, that's what we're hoping for, but again, we wanna double check and try that on the other side. So a little rotation, she extends back, and I'm watching for, does she do it evenly on both sides? Good, and come back up, any problem there? No, okay, great. And to me, it looked even on both sides. So she gets a, a good, we'll give, just give that a happy face on that. So I know that that was not a problem for her. If there was pain, I can do whatever marker that I want to pee, uh, just to remind myself that that's what I'm going to do. The next one, we're gonna have her do a prone press up, which is basically like a cobra, cobra in yoga. So if you can lie on your tummy, please, as if you're doing a push up position. Okay, good. And I want you to bring your hands back about rib cage level, set those shoulders down and back, shoelaces down or uh, toes down if you're doing this in a gym setting. And what I want you to do, Scarlett, is to press up as far as you can, ideally aiming to get those elbows completely straight, which I don't have the range of motion to do. Good, and then come back down. Good, now next time you do this, did you see Scarlett's shoulders were kind of hiked up by her ears? I'm gonna ask her to do this and try to really press out of your shoulders. Good, and come up nice and tall, nice and tall, nice and tall, nice and tall, good, and then come back down. Any pain there? No, okay, good. Um, so again, I'm just making that note, these, these are all positive signs, we don't want pain, but these are just little markers uh, to, to make sure we shouldn't be referring out. Um, so but those first two tests, we're looking at the athlete into extension patterns. The first one, extension and rotation. The second one, just straight extension. Now we're gonna go into a flexion pattern. So I'm gonna have Scarlett go on all fours. I'll move out of the way so the camera can see her. She's the star of the show here. And then I want you to turn, again, shoelaces down or toes down. I want you to push back and sit with your bum on your heels and then just let the head come down. So just like a child's pose in yoga, and we're asking her any pain there, any problems? No, great. Passing with flying colors, which is what we hope for all of our athletes, but again, it's important to screen them. And then come back up. 
So next we're going to go into a uh, compression force. So I'm going to ask uh, Scarlett to remove her heels, or sorry, remove her heels, remove her shoes. And Scarlett, there's no issue right now of uh, any foot pain. Um, nope, okay, so I'll, I'll demo what's going to happen. You'll understand that question from me right now because while we're trying to create the compression forces through the spine, we also, if she's got existing foot issues, we don't want any problems with this actual test. So all I'm gonna get Scarlett to do is to raise up on her toes and notice we're doing this on a hard floor. So you don't wanna do this on a gymnastics floor because you're not gonna get those compression forces. So she's gonna raise up on her toes and then she's just gonna try to thunk down to try and get some compression forces through her spine. It's not a terribly comfortable test, but it's not gonna cause, it should not cause her any undue pain unless there's a red flag there. So she's gonna raise up again and then thunk down. What we're trying to uh, kind of recreate just on a very small scale is the kind of compression forces she's gonna uh, experience when she lands. Any problem there? Wonderful, okay. So uh, next I'm gonna get her coach's assistance we're going to have um, Scarlett hanging, and I might actually get her coach Mark, I'm gonna explain the test, and maybe Mark can actually do this. So I'll explain it first, and then Mark will actually take her through it. So then this final uh, kind of red flag test is to see how uh, Scarlett's spine tolerates um, traction forces. So first we're just gonna have her hang in just a neutral, neutral hang, and all Mark's going to do is very gently pull down on her hips as she's in a hang, and maybe down also uh, just above the knee to create a little bit of um, traction. Nothing too hard, just enough for her to feel a little bit of a pull down. Um, we'll have her go uh, up and down in between each of these three positions. So if we can have Scarlett go up, she gets in a good position, okay? And then just gently, Mark just ever so slightly pulls down to create, she should feel a little bit of lengthening through her spine, and then maybe just above the quads as well, repeat the same thing, just a gentle pull down, and then we assist her down if she's not on a nice soft floor. Any problems there? Okay, so we're gonna repeat that exact same thing, except now what I'd like Scarlett to do is to go into a slight extension. So she's hanging, Mark's gonna still create that same sort of traction, but I want you to go into a slightly extended pattern, hold that extension, okay? Go ahead and repeat. Okay, so she goes into an extension, she holds that extension, a little bit of traction there, and then it's mainly more down on the kneecap where she, or sorry, just above the knee where she may or may not feel any problem there. No problem there? No? Okay, good. Excellent. And then finally, the last one, I just want her in a slight pike position. So same thing, hanging position, and I just want you to go into a slight flexion or pike position, okay? And hold that as Mark does the compression, or sorry, the uh, traction test. So she holds that good. Any problem, and then go down again a little bit lower. Great, and then help her down. Any problem with any of those? Fantastic, that is wonderful news, that's what we're looking for, but again, these are really great, simple uh, tools that any coach can do to try to s assess whether or not there's any red flags. Uh, if there is uh, any back pain exhibited, again, recommend that you refer out. It doesn't necessarily mean that there is an injury, but it's a hint of, of maybe some trouble brewing, and if we can nip it in the bud early, uh, it means that the athlete's going to um, lose much less time from training, if any at all.